The Menendez brothers shocked the world in 1989, but their story began long before that fateful night. From childhood trauma to a high-profile trial, let's uncover what really happened in the Menendez family. Early Life what could drive two brothers to murder their parents in cold blood? Lyle and Eric Menendez appeared to have the perfect life, growing up in a wealthy Beverly Hills family. But behind the facade, their father, Jose Menendez, was controlling and abusive. The brothers claimed that the abuse wasn't just emotional or physical, it was sexual and began when they were very young. Meanwhile, their mother Kitty struggled with her own issues and turned a blind eye to what was happening in their home. For Lyle, the abuse started when he was just six years old. Jose used objects to prepare him for sexual acts that occurred later. The sexual abuse from his father stopped when Lyle, at around eight or nine years old, finally confronted him, threatening to expose him if it continued. After that confrontation, the abuse shifted to Eric. Though he was no longer sexually abused, Lyle continued to suffer emotionally due to his father's controlling and manipulative behavior. For Eric, the abuse didn't stop until weeks before the murder. Eric's abuse mirrored that of his older brother. It started when he was around six years old. Even Lyle would insult and belittle him, repeating some of the behaviors he learned from his father. The murder. What was the real reason the Menendez brothers killed their parents? On August 20th, 1989, the brothers shot and killed their parents in their Beverly Hills home. The attack was brutal. Jose and Kitty Menendez were found with multiple gunshot wounds. Lyle and Eric claimed they acted out of fear for their lives, believing their father was about to kill them after years of abuse. Well, I thought Dad was going to kill us, and no matter where we went, anywhere, he was going to kill us. I th he, he, obviously, my dad thought that Lyle and I were going to go tell somebody. So if you left the house that night, what do you think your dad would have thought? That he, we, we were going to tell. The brothers were never allowed to talk about the abuse, as Jose had repeatedly threatened to kill them if they did. However, Eric told Lyle that the abuse was still happening. Lyle confronted their father, letting him know he knew about the molesting. What do you believe? was the originating cause of you and your brother ultimately winding up shooting your parents. Okay, was you telling Lyle what? My dad had been molesting me. <laughs> With tensions escalating in the household, Lyle and Eric felt they had no choice but to act in what they claimed was self-defense. The Menendez brothers almost got away with murder, until their story started to fall apart. Immediately after the murders, the brothers staged the crime scene to make it look like a break-in. They claimed they had returned home from seeing a movie and attended the annual Taste of LA festival to find their parents murdered, hoping to cover up their involvement. They even went so far as to call 911, crying and expressing shock over the deaths. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? I'm sorry, kill my parents. Pardon me? <laughs> what? Who? Are they still there? Yeah. The people? No, oh. no, no. Were they shot? Hey, Matt, they were... Uh, were they shot? Yes. They were shot? Yes. At first, this explanation seemed believable, and they weren't considered immediate suspects. However, as time went on, their behavior began to raise suspicions. Lyle and Eric showed little sign of grief. Instead, they spent lavishly from their parents' fortune. They bought luxury cars, watches, and designer clothes. Lyle purchased a Porsche, and both brothers invested heavily in real estate and business ventures, which fueled speculation about a financial motive behind the murders. The Betrayal who betrayed the Menendez brothers? In late October 1989, Eric confessed the murders to his therapist, Dr. Jerome Ozeal. Under normal circumstances, the confession would have been protected by doctor-patient confidentiality. However, Ozeal later shared the confession with his mistress, Judalon Smith. After they had a falling out, she went to the authorities and leaked the information. This critical piece of evidence shifted the focus to the brothers. On March 8, 1990, Lyle and Eric Menendez were arrested. From nearly walking free to a life sentence in prison, 
The trial was a media sensation, with the brothers testifying about the years of abuse they suffered. The public was divided. Some saw them as victims, others as ruthless killers. The first trial in 1993 ended in a mistrial due to a hung jury. In the retrial, starting in 1995, Judge Stanley Weisberg significantly restricted the defense's argument that the brothers had acted out of a lifetime of abuse, preventing the jury from considering a manslaughter charge instead of murder. The prosecution argued the brothers killed their parents for financial gain, dismissing the abuse claims. On July 2, 1996, the jury found both Eric and Lyle guilty sentencing them to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. Recent evidence. Could new evidence free the Menendez brothers from prison? Cliff Gardner, one of the Menendez brothers' defense lawyers, claimed there is new evidence supporting their defense. My hope in the case is that the judge will realize that this new evidence is indeed credible and persuasive, and he'll vacate the convictions. The team discovered a letter written by Eric to his cousin Andy, in which he opened up about his father's abuse. The prosecution suggests that the brothers lied, but this letter proves otherwise. It's dated December 1988, months before Kitty and Jose died. Family members, including their cousin, have come forward to confirm the allegations, leading some to question whether the brothers should get a new trial. And that sums up the story about the Menendez brothers. Whether you see them as victims or murderers, their story has left a lasting impact. If you learned something new today, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Do you think the Menendez brothers deserve a new trial? Let us know in the comments below.